so students we have started uh, enhancement of food production lesson and this is enhancement of food production part 5 this is fifth uh, lecture of this lesson and up till now we have uh, studied uh, some important introductory parts uh, of this lesson biofortification methods what is scp that is what is single cell protein what is tissue culture the stages various steps which are involved in the tissue culture process that is callus culture formation and all uh, breeding techniques we have studied up till now so today we are going to discuss this dairy farm management okay so what is dairy farm management uh, it can be asked for, uh, for theoretical question short note can be asked on this uh, part of uh, apart from that the names of the various uh, uh, animals which are involved in the dairy farm management they can be asked okay that means very short answer questions can be uh, are possible on this part so what is dairy farm management dairy farm industry involves production of processing and distribution of milk and milk products so milk is a valuable food stuff universally consumed by human beings uh, milk yield mainly depends on the quality of breeds in the farm this is very important and for that the breeds which we are using or which are used uh, commonly in the dairy farm management the names are very important so selection of good breeds having high yielding potential under the climatic conditions of inhabiting area uh, and disease resistance uh, of those breed that capacity of disease resistance uh, that th these are the basic requirement uh, for the dairy farm management in india cows and buffaloes they are mainly used for dairy farms as we all know that but uh, out of these cows and buffaloes sahiwal Sindhi, Gir are Indian breeds. Now, these names you, you have to remember, okay? These names are very important because uh, these names can be asked specially, okay? These were asked in this board exam, recent board exam. Uh, Indian breeds and Jersey, Brown, Swiss, Holston, these are exotic breeds. So, again, this part is important as far as your very short answer questions are. Uh, considered or concerned okay so buffaloes they are restricted to some part of asia only in india six breeds occur jafrabadi mehsana mura nagpuri neeli surati which are all good milk producers so these names six breeds you have to remember cattles have to be well looked after these are the important things for which are involved in the farm management how the farm management is carried out so for that part this is important okay so cattle have to be well looked after quality and quantity of fodder in proper ratio should be given for the better quality of milk so silage made for uh, from legumes and grasses silage is a kind of uh, uh, a product which is used to feed the uh, animals okay so uh, you can uh, go through the google uh, for this silage okay and you will uh, come to know but the structures are also provided okay so it's a grass or other green fodder silage means uh, so grass or other green fodder which is compacted and stored in airtight conditions typically in a silo without first being dried and used as animal feed in the winter so that part is called as silage okay so it is made up from legumes and grasses maize and jowar makes good feed silage is supplemented with oil cakes minerals vitamins and salts so cleanliness and hygiene of the cattle now this part is important as far as dairy farm management how it is uh, carried out so this is your answer that cleanliness and hygiene of the cattle and handlers is of uh, a more uh, important importance while milking storage and transport of milk and milk products in recent years much of these processes they are mechanized okay uh, which reduce uh, the chance of direct contact with the product and the shade must be uh, cleaned daily it should be spacious with adequate facilities for uh, feeding watering lightening etc lighting etc so milk processing and marketing and uh, distribution play an important role in dairy industry 
variety of milk product like curd, cream, butter, ghee, condensed milk, koa, cheese must be prepared from extra milk and on demand. An additional income can be obtained in the cattle farms uh, from cow dung, manure, fuel cakes, go, uh, gober gags for uh, gober gas for cooking and lighting. So that is the additional income. So that's all about farm dairy farm management. The names of the uh, animals and how the dairy farm management is carried out. So that is important. What is poultry farm management now? Poultry includes number of bird species such as chicken, ducks, turkey and fowls which are domesticated for their eggs and meat. Allied professions to poultry include processing of eggs and meat, marketing of poultry products, uh, compounding and sale of poultry feed, poultry equipment, pharmaceuticals, feed additives, etc. So all this is very uh, essential as far as this poultry farm or management is concerned. Selection of a proper and disease-free uh, breed, suitable and safe farm condition, proper feed and water, hygiene and health care are important requirements. What is important? The disease-free uh, breed, suitable, safe farm condition, proper feed and uh, water, hygiene and health care. These are important for the poultry management. Uh, on the basis of their origin, different types of poultry breeds are uh, American breeds, Plymouth Rock, New Hampshire, any one name you have to remember out of all these examples, okay? So, Leghorn is the best layer. Now, these names are very important because a special, uh, very short answer question can be asked on this. Leghorn is the best layer for eggs, this uh, breed is used while well, Plymouth Rock and Rhode Island Red, Azil, Brahma, and Kadakna these are preferred uh, as broilers for meat. They are these breeds, they are preferred. So, management of layers requires purchase of high yielding chicken, well ventilated farms, a proper feed. DB King, lighting, waterer, sanita sanitation, curling, vaccination, management of broiler requires selection of breed, housing, temperature, ventilation, lighting, floor space and broiler feed. So these are the basic requirements for the poultry management. Now what are the different poultry diseases? So that part is important, a question can be asked on this especially, okay. What, which are the viral disease like running head, bronchitis, avian, uh, influenza or bird flu. These are uh, the viral diseases. Few years back, bird flu have seriously uh, influenced poultry farming and human infection too. So bacterial diseases now mainly includes uh, polarum, cholera, typhoid, TB, CRD that is chronic respiratory disease, enteritis, etc. Fungal diseases like aspergillosis, favus, and thrush. Okay, so they can be used. Uh, they, these are the fungal diseases. Parasitic diseases, the uh, lice infection, roundworm, sickle worm infection, etc. Protozoa diseases, uh, coccidiosis, it is a protozoa disease. So that's all about the poultry management. Now, what is apiculture or beekeeping? Apiculture or beekeeping deals with an artificial rearing of honeybees. Naturally, the honeybee, now these are the honeycombs, right? Honey beehives. So, naturally, they are present on a tree branches. But when this, uh, this uh, apiculture or beekeeping is carried out artificially, then that is a different kind of management, okay? So, what we get by this artificial rearing of honeybees, we get bee products like honey, wax, pollens, bee venom, propolis, that is bee glue and royal jelly, as well as pollinating agents for crop plants. For, for that, it is important. Beekeeping is an ancient cottage industry. Honey is a food of hive, nutritive value, and also finds uses in the indigenous system of medicines. So the four species of honeybees, they are commonly used in Indian, uh, India are Apis dorsata, that is rock bee or wild bee. Now these names are important because these are the four species which are used in India. 
Second is Apis floria, that is little b, Apis mellifera, that is European bee, and Apis indica, that is Indian bee. Now see, this is worker bee, queen, and drone. These are honey bee. These are various kinds of honey bees. What is polymorphism in honey bee? Beekeeping is practiced in areas where sufficient wild shrubs now these are the basic requirements okay for bee uh, keeping these are required so what are the basic requirements that is the sufficient wild shrubs then fruit orchards uh, cultivated crops they are required Beekeeping requires the equipments, various equipments they are also used in beekeeping. That is bee hive boxes with comb, foundation sheets, bee veil, smoker bee, brush, gloves, gum shoes, uncapping knife, uh, swarm net, queen excluder, overall hive tool etc. So all these are uh, involved. So this is artificial beehive you can see. This is outer cover with the crown board. This is inner cover, honey super. Uh, these are the frames with wax foundation. This is queen excluder, hive bodies, uh, entrance reducer, floorboard and bottom stand. So artificial beehive. For successful beekeeping, one must be familiar with the habits of bees, selection of the suitable location, their catching and hiving of swarms, uh, management of hives during the different seasons, handling and uh, collection of honeybee, wax, other products. So periodic inspection for cleanliness of hive boxes, activity of bees and uh, queen condition of brood, provision of water, this is necessary as far as the polymorphism in honeybee is concerned. Many Indian crop fields need the services of honeybees as the pollinators. So beekeeping in crop field of sunflower, mustard, flower, chili, cabbage, cucumber, legumes, fruits like apple, mango, citrus, etc. help in increasing the productivity of honey as well as crops tremendously now fishery fishery is a branch of applied biology which deals with the catching processing and fish farming so what is fishery in that we it is the branch of applied biology and uh, these are the different uh, marketing fishes they are useful aquatic animals okay so their processing farming marketing is done such as prawns lobsters oysters mussels and crabs so three division of fishery they are inland fishery marine fishery and uh, estuarine fishery so inland fishery includes culturing and capturing of fish from fresh water bodies like ponds lakes dams and river inland aquatic area of our country covers about 40 to 50 lakh acres the common fish water uh, freshwater fish they are labio cat uh, catla and uh, other cubs so these are the names which you have to maringal and all that you have to remember next marine fishery includes uh, the seawater fishes the common marine fishes they are herpedon bombay duck sedine and then mackerel and pomfret Estuary and fishery includes capture of fish from estuary. Estuary is a place where river meets the sea. Okay, that is for example, Sundarban area in the West Bengal. So the common factors for the maintenance of fish farm include selection of suitable site, excavation of ponds, requirements of hatchery tank, nursery tank, rearing tank, stocking tank or ponds, water source, manure, supplementary feed, etc. The culture fishery may be monoculture, only one species or polyculture. Many species, uh, they are involved in that. After catching the fishes, fish spoilage is prevented. So this is again very important. Okay, so for uh, preservation of the fishes, to avoid the spoilage of the uh, fish, uh, the different techniques they are used like chilling, freezing, freeze drying, sun drying, smoke drying, salting and canning. These are the methods, different methods for the 
preservation of fishes. In addition to the source as nutritious food, fish yield a number of byproducts which are of commercial value. They are fish oil, fish meal, fertilizers, fish guana, and fish glue, and using glass. Now, what is fish guano? Fish, uh, first part is uh, using glass. Now, fish guano is a kind of fertilize, fertilizer which is prepared from the fish. And uh, using glass or icing glass is a kind of gelatin obtained from the fish. You can say it as icing glass, okay? So, this is a kind of glue or uh, a kind of gelatin which is obtained from the fish. So these are the byproducts which are widely used in the paints, soaps, oils and medicine. Prawns and uh, lobsters uh, have market value all over the world. Fishery provides good job opportunities and self-employment to many people. Another uh, part is sericulture. Sericulture is a branch of applied uh, zoology which deals with the rearing of silk worm and production of silk. Like other farming, sericulture also involves skill and scientific knowledge of rearing and development. It requires less investment and can be started in small space. That is again the biggest advantage of the sericulture that it requires less investment and it can uh, get started in small space. So it is the oldest business and large number of families are associated with the production of silk in India. Disabled, older persons, handicapped people can successfully do this job. This is again a very important thing. Okay. So now let's try to understand the life cycle of silk moth or that is mulberry silk worm. See this is the adult female and uh, eggs on the mulberry leaf. It lay eggs on the mulberry uh, leaf. Now this is another part that is mature caterpillar, uh, dorsal horn, ab abdominal pseudo legs, spiracles, thoracic true leg. So in short this is mature caterpillar which get uh, produced by these eggs and then it gets converted into a cocoon and after the formation by after the uh, breakage of this cocoon we get again the adult butterfly okay so the best quality silk or mulberry silk is produced by silkworm bombex morai valthusur silk and it is silk they are inferior quality now these names are very important for your exam the quality and quantity of silk depends on the quality of mulberry leaves on which the larvae feed so that quality of the silk uh, it depends on the leaves on which the uh, on which the larvae they are uh, feeding okay so rearing and development and looking after the silkworms involves silk and uh, labor for constant watch a little negligence can spoil the complete industry silkworm uh, larvae may be infected by protozoans viruses and fungi besides this ants crowns birds and uh, crows uh, birds and other predators they are ready to attack these insects hence the cages of these larvae must be managed to prevent the predators attack uh, what is lacquer turf? Before going to that part, this is important. See, this is egg laying, end of leg egg laying, silk spots indicate shrinking of female. This is hatching. These are the larvae, these are also called as crawlers. Larvae settling on host. These are the pupa. Male comes out from anal operculum. Incomplete metamorphosis occurs here. This is adult female and this is male. Complete metamorphosis. Adult male and female. There is fertilization and again it forms this egg. Okay. So this is, uh, this is the life cycle of lac insect. Now what is lac culture? Lac is produced by an insect that is called as Trachardia laca. Now this name is important. Which is quite small in size and colonial in habit. Resin-like substance is produced by the dermal glands of the female lac insect. Now, this uh, resin-like substance it is formed or produced by the female lac insect by the dermal glands. Derma means skin, so they're from the upper skin or that part 
the glands they secrete the resin like substance insect feeds on succulent weeds of the certain plants like bear people palas kusum babul etc and uh, secretes pink colored resin that hardens on coming uh, in contact with air farming lac it is produced on the large scale all over the india lac is a complex substance having large amount of resin together with sugar water and minerals and alkaline derivatives this part is important what is lac so this question can be asked natural lac is always contaminated shellac is pure form of lac obtained by washing and filtering lac insect is a native of india and our share is 85 percent of total lac produced in the world products of lac play a vital role in the economy of the farmers lac is used in bangles toys wood balls inks mirrors etc so production of lac requires an artificial inoculation of plants which give better and regular supply of good quality and quantity of lac so that's all about all the managements uh this as far as the names of the uh, insects animals uh, or the names all the names are very important okay uh, these can be asked for very short answer question uh, the diagrams are not much essential because as i have already explained that this lesson is having less uh, wettage so the diagrams were never asked just like the life cycle the uh, structure of honeybees okay so these diagrams are not that much important so you just concentrate on the uh, theoretical part that how the dairy management is carried out how the sericulture is carried out okay so that part is important prepare of uh, uh, minimum 8 to 10 points for uh, two marks short an answer question or short note and uh, another thing is the names the diseases this is very short answer question these uh, can be asked uh, as far as this part is concerned okay so we will study the microbes which are used in the uh, dairy food production and industrial in the various industries how they are used okay so that's all uh, for today's session thank you